and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Spider Swain, our first deck of the day. Um, this deck is going to be going wide and we're going to be getting a lot of spiders as you can tell by our three crawling sensations to go along with all of our other um, spider makers. You know, we got our house spiders, our vile feast, obviously Elise, stuff like that. So, you know, we're going to be an aggressive deck going wide and putting pressure on the opponent. And what's going to really help with that is Neverglade Collector. Because then Neverglade Collector in a deck like this, we have a lot of spiders. They're dying a lot. Um, and each time that they die, we're draining our opponents. So, you know, putting pressure on their nexus each time that we have something die. But also, every time we have something die, draining is uh, dealing one damage. And so, therefore... That's leleling up Swain. And then, you know, like we have other ways to level up Swain with the Vile Feast and the Noxion Fervor and the Ravenous Flock. And whenever Swain's leveled up, then each time we have something die and uh, drain the opponent, we're stunning the strongest back row enemy. Um, so that's pretty cool there. So we got a couple of Leviathans and uh, to, to go ahead and grab our couple Swains. Go with one Maokai instead of the third Swain. Uh, because Maokai with all these cheap units is just another way to get um, cheap units out that, that die a lot. And that's just a great card with Neverglade, Collector, and things like that. So, you know, our combination of Neverglade, Collector, Draining from the opponent, Leviathan, dealing damage at the round start. We can have some, um, you know, we can have some reach that's not necessarily us just attacking and dealing damage in a combat. So this looks like a pretty interesting one. We're going to go ahead and play five games over in a Ranked. This one was... Uh, just grabbed this deck from Mobilytics, from like their the stats page on Mobilytics. Just kind of browsing. Saw this on there. So I don't don't know who made the deck, but it looks pretty interesting. Both this and the Twisted Swain, the two Swain decks today that were not the donation decks were both those same things. So just finding them on Mobilytics. And I like playing Swain decks. Like, Swain's a really fun champion to play. And so these are two different kinds of Swain decks that I haven't really played very much of. Well, I don't want just two three drops, two glimpse beyonds. We're going to definitely mulligan Skitterer. And we'll mulligan one glimpse beyond. I could see mulliganing the sentry also and just keeping it. Oh, man. I wish I would have. Ravenous Flock is the card that I want to draw the most to pair with these Arachnoid Sentries. Um, besides that, like, Elise would have been good, too. In the shadows. This, this hand is... kind of unlucky. We have 21 cards that cost 1 or 2 mana. I guess technically we have one of them here. Eh, might as well play this thing. This stun does nothing right now, and I'm not sure if this skitter trigger will really do a lot later anyway. Okay, there we go. That's a good card. Perhaps we should pause for thought. I hope they don't have like jury rig. Skitter out from the darkness. I guess that's technically just a better card. So that would make a three, you know, that's going to make a three, three for them and kill my thing. Um, I don't want them to just get a three, three. So we'll go glimpse beyond. We got an expensive hand. So I guess I play Swain. 
could try to wait until they level up Swain, but you know, like they probably block with their Spiderling, so it's probably just like a removal spell for their Spiderling, and I also get a 3-3. Three, three. That's my guess. Of course, Culling Strike would be the worst case scenario. Well, that's not a very good case scenario either. Another Professor. Done that. We can't just attack him, make a 3 3. Potentially, Frenzied Skitter could help Swain attack next turn. Like, we get to, we can go like Maokai plus Skitter next turn. And try to keep them from having three health things. Which, I mean, I guess it's not a leveled up Swain, so it's not like it's going to kill everything anyway. A tribute to the spider god. Oh, what's that noise? Yeah, Swain and Skitter, that's, that's a pretty nice little combo. We should be healing with these stuff. I, I, um, oh, that's just a spider. I was thinking that was like kind of like hapless aristocrat that I would bring something back, but um, calling strike. Yes, please. Let's start with this. Good draw. No, my other calling strike gone. Leave them nothing. Now we can Vile Feast the Elise and kill the Elise, but if they go straight to combat, which is likely, we don't get to do that till after combat, unfortunately. Or like after after they've already challenged, I mean. Kill the Spider Queen. Alright, so that's two Elise dead and two Professor Von Yip dead. That's pretty nice. Alright, go, Neverglade Collector, go. My best draw is probably Leviathan. 
or the Leviathan, I suppose. Hmm. I guess the problem with playing that crawling sensation is now I don't have room for these saplings. Scuttler, the block, block, block. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing. I could just level up Elise and just not attack. I guess that's probably better. The Isles will bloom again. Still fighting. Oh, this is kind of a mess. They so basically have the exact same board, but they got five cards in hand. Yeah, we need we need to draw Leviathan. Let me change into something more. Okay, that's decent. The forest's vengeance. And then go on overgrown snap vine. I guess we can risk a Neverglade Collector because we have another one. If they would play like something pre-combat right there. I'll be able to Ravenous Block. No, there's one Leviathan gone. Their Maokai's at 13, mine's at 19, mine's about to be 20. Won't find better this side of the sun. No hey, Quillabot. That was a really bad draw for us, the Vile Feast. I need, I need just to draw a unit for Maokai. Hey, Jelly.
me going to five. Well, we're gonna be trying. This should level up Maokai now, because Maokai's at 22. Toss two, so that's 24. Those are two good cards to toss. I didn't really want to draw either one. Then this thing dies at, at end of turn, levels up Maokai, so that will put them down to four cards left. I guess we're going to be at four cards left also. But we have triple Neverglade Collector. It's probably better being on the side of triple Neverglade Collector. <laughs> this is the best matchup ever. <laughs> This is pretty awesome. And what's the point of killing any of these? Probably none. Definitely glad that happened. Definitely glad they didn't have like a another glimpse beyond to sacrifice their thing to not let my my card die, my sapling die. Doesn't necessarily win immediately. We still need something to die. My best draw is a removal spell right, that we could use on our own things. Yeah, yep, yeah. They can't, they can't get a Neverglade Collector because they have the Snap Vine. So every single thing they play is a Snap Vine now. And so while I get Collectors, they don't get Collectors. All right, one and oh. They had they had one Neverglade Collector first, but we once we killed that Neverglade Collector, and then played our second, and then drew the third. Deal non-combat damage to foes. Twenty-eight out of ten. Wow, that was an easy, easy quest. Easy quest. Expedition token. I'll take that. That was pretty fun. That was a fun game to start the day. Oh, we're going with some. We're, Going towards some cool sleeves now. All right, we need 10, 10 wins to get that cool sleeve. That sleeve look, looks awesome. Okay, Spider Swain. Spider Swain. Yeah, so there's only 30 more until we're done with the whole event. Oh, they're not gonna finish it in July. It's, it's August now, it's August 1st, so. Not gonna finish it that early. <laughs> yeah, Chris. There you go, Chris. Yep, that's one one win down. All right. We'll keep it going. Let's see. Let's go with. Man, they got the cool sleeves. Uh, I think I'm. I think I made Mulligan the Swain. Now let's see. What are we doing? So crawling or calling strike can go, crawling sensation go, Swain stay, Swain go. Swain's gonna be like great in the late game, but we're not. As we kind of saw that last game, we don't do a lot of non-combat damage, so we don't level up our Swain that fast. So maybe I should be mulliganing the Swain because of that. Yeah, that's what Chris said he was doing. He was doing one beer per win. That could be... That could be way too much.
No, that was the worst one. Ugh. That was the worst one. They would have got any other one, I would have been just fine because we could just sit back and block. All right, going wide. Let's go. All that damage is going to add up. We got to be worried about Rav... Uh, that's not the name of the card. Radiant Guardian. That's the card we got to be worried about. Radiant Guardian. I don't know exactly what we do to stop Radiant Guardian. Here we go. Yeah, they definitely have Radiant Guardian. Time to get rowdy. It's like what do we what do we do about Radiant Guardian? I don't even know. Harvey. Harvey. Oh, I'm glad not Withering Whale. Puts him down to two. Is that worth it? Like, otherwise they're just at five. Like, all I'm doing is just two damage to them. That's probably not worth it. I think I need to block with Noxion Fervor next turn and then and shoot them. Again, I gotta prevent Radiant Guardian. I don't think this is worth it. Oh, yeah, they're, help, they're helping my Swain level up. That's nice of them. Hopefully this works. All right, GGs. I think I did a great job of not letting Radiant Guardian hit the battlefield all leveled up and stuff. That was a pretty, pretty aggro kind of game for us. That was a good one. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> Can't believe y'all. Chris and Tizzle, you two are crazy. It's 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. where y'all are, where y'all are, and y'all are drinking a beer for win. Should do one for like every other win or something. I don't know. That's that's too many. We're playing, you know, we play, what, 20 games? So, I mean, I'm going to have, like, 12 plus wins today. Hopefully. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. All right, Misfortune, Twisted Fate. That's a pretty fun combination with PNZ. Let's... I don't know, Fervor, like, kills both of their champions. Kind of want to just keep this. The season will end the... Uh, um, in about... In about 20 days is when the season's ending. Um, basically, the end of this month, whenever... Whenever this festival thing ends and whenever the new set comes out. And so that new set should be out in, like I said, in about 20 days. And that's when we'll have the end of the season. So, yep. Still a lot of time. Um, this isn't great. Especially if they, especially if they have Mega Rain, this is not great. I, don't know, I just passed. They could just pass back. Don't stand in my way. Hey, Digimons, everything's going well. That was the problem with my line. Um, I don't... Yeah, I don't... No. August 5th will not be a big update. The big updates are at the end of the month. The ones at the end of the month each time. The the ones at the beginning of the month, like there's two updates a month. The ones at the beginning of the month are small updates. The ones at the end of the month are big updates. All right, good. Their Yodel Grifter missed, so they have a PNC card on top. Could be like Mystic Shot or something similar. Never lost a fair game or played one. Soak it in. I mean, there may there may be uh, there may be a couple of changes, but it'll be just a couple of small changes if if there are any changes. Um, but yeah, usually like the big balance patch pages, balance patch changes are once a month. Because you know, like you have to like do the changes, then you have to like give give it time to settle in and just see what happens, right? Like. Um, you know, you don't want to, like, do balance patch changes, and then, what, a week later, you're like, all right, well, we need to already change more things, and so then we announce it the, the week after. You know, you gotta, you gotta give the metagame a chance to, to breathe a little bit. So once a month makes sense. The rot must be cut away. No, there's, 
no spoilers. I mean, I there there has been nothing announced right now. Like there may be zero changes. Like there's there's nothing to spoil. Oh, but oh for the oh Nenuel, yeah no don't yeah don't don't spoil. I I haven't looked at all of like leaked stuff for the next set or anything. I yeah I don't not until anything's like sent out official. Um. That's kind of rough. Yeah, I don't I don't look at that kind of stuff at all. Good job, Digimon. You reach a diamond 2 for the first time. Good job. No, you shouldn't be scared of playing. If you go back to Diamond 3, it's no big deal. You were just at Diamond 3 like yesterday. So it's, you know, your life was still great yesterday. Diamond 3. But maybe you'll go to Diamond 1. You never know. Gotta keep playing to... It's to check. So while I could Culling Strike the Island Navigator, I kind of want to save Culling Strike for Misfortune. For hey, what's up, Nick? We're having some fun with Spider Swain. We've had two really fun games so far. Two really cool games. Dangerous water. Hm. Man, Island Navigator is a good card. stations definitely considering just attacking with these two little spiderlings Yep, yep, we have Elise, three Elise, two Maokai, one, or, sorry, one, one Maokai, two Swain as our champions. Alright, so since they passed, I'm passing to, I don't want to, I don't really want to Ravenous Flock that thing, and then they play... Misfortune afterwards. Alright, Rex. No, that Rex is killing my Leviathan. That's sad. I guess that was the problem with attacking with those 1-1s. One I thought that, like, I need to open up some room for, like, you know, Swain and then the other thing. I thought I needed to open up some room, but, yeah, that was really bad play of attacking with those 1-1s one with this. Yeah, I'm not sure Static Sing. I'm not, I'm not sure how they'll go about um, nerfing the Ash Sejuani deck. That'll be real interesting. There's not any real obvious card, but basically basically every card in the deck could be nerfed a little bit. You know, like like literally basically every single card you could you could talk about like nerfing it just a tad.
I still have a lot of cards. I want to turn Swain into a 4-5. Or let this thing hit me once. And kill my Spiderling. You lack discipline. Yeah, I could see, with how they've been just increasing the mana for spells all the time, I could see Harsh Winds going to 7 mana. Yeah, I could see Assessor turning into, like, if you have a unit that with power 5 or greater, draw a card. So you just draw one, you know, you just draw a card instead of drawing millions of cards. Um... Could see Elixir of Iron or Brittle Steel going to two mana, or both. Leave them nothing. I will break them. Uh, Riptide Rex does cost eight. Deal me in. Eyes open. Any more work for me? You're not still mad about that, are you? Don't love this fervor draw. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes, you know. But me losing this game is is about that Leviathan attack turn. I just don't make those attacks. Um, that was that was just really bad play into. Um, uh into Riptide Rex. That was that was the turn I lost this game. Theoretically, I guess we still have a chance if somehow Frenzied Skitter hits them down to five and we draw like a second Noxion Fervor and we can Noxion Fervor both of these. But super unlikely. Didn't know the boss is Don't know much, do you? I guess I should just attack with the four two and challenge that powder keg. They would just cast that in response. Alright, another Noxion Fervor. Oh my gosh. Could we actually pull this off? Looks like trouble. We have to get very lucky. Of them having nothing. Get really lucky one time. No. Alright, well, I definitely think that was winnable. And I definitely think that just that attack turn with the Leviathan was just a really bad attack turn and that cost me that game because that that had the leviathan die and uh yeah that was just could have had those extra one ones i lost that one almost saved it though yeah 
Almost saved it. Alright, so again, I think Swain's kind of a later game card for us, as we've seen. Don't really want to keep the the three mana three two at this point, and Noxion Fervor doesn't really get rid of either of those, Gangplank or Swain. I know what lurks in the shadows. Cool, at least is a good draw. Hey, come on. Good morning. You dare. Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners. So I guess if I play Skitter, they won't be able to kill Elise this turn. But to what end? <laughs> to what end? And then what, next turn I go double house spider? They'll just kill Elise the following turn. You know if Elise is leveled up or not. Thanks, Dizzle. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So at least this creates... By waiting now, like, my Elise doesn't level up, but that does create another Spiderling for me. Okay, so this will be a 3-2, or I glimpse beyond my Spiderling and keep that thing an 0-3 and draw 2. I'm going to do that. Especially with my 2-2 two -two dying. If that, if that, you know, I'd want to have my 2-2 two -two for that 3-2. I mean, I guess we have the House Spider anyway, but... That's a good ravenous flock. Okay, so we can go house spider, ravenous flock for the O4, and we have vile feast for the powder keg whenever they use the powder keg. I'm expecting them to use the powder keg right now because otherwise it's just going to do three damage to me at the beginning of turn, and that's just kind of meh. Um, so maybe I just maybe I just pass also and just let them do three damage at the beginning of turn. No. Nah.
What do you mean, Duelist? That that would not have worked with Powder Keg? It would have just been one? I'm ready. Maybe. Okay, so that's, yeah, that doesn't count as a skill. Okay, it's just spells and skills do additional damage, and that doesn't count as a skill. Gotcha. Alright, GG's. No withering whales over there. And we're three and one. Let's go. Which I guess they can't have Withering Whale because they're Bilgewater Noxus. But they could have like Mega Range and stuff like that. Well, cool, Jelly. Yeah, you like fun more than ladder? Well, we, we do a lot of fun decks around here. Um, especially Mondays. Mondays are my meme tier Mondays. Um, let's see. I already have four donation decks for Monday. We may have like Tuesday, if we get more, may have t Tuesday be a meme tier Tuesday also, which happens sometimes. Um, we got um, a Starlet Fizz meme tier deck. We got an Auroch, uh, an Ember Maiden Auroch Glinthorn deck. Um, we got Legacy of Sorrows, um, you know, with uh, um, whatever that, that Sor scribe, of, scribe of Sorrows. The Scribe of Sorrows and getting infinite Scribe of Sorrows. So we have Legacy of Sorrows, and then um, Core deck has like a turn two kill kind of deck. All right, so that one doesn't count. Like we stayed the same rank. That was a connection issue. Sometimes connection issues happen with this game. They they give you a win. Like it doesn't help your rank at all, but it helps. They give you like the XP. So like my opponent probably got the win in XP also. They probably said that they got a win in XP. It's just. There's a connection issue. Um, oh, okay. Thanks, Jelly. Yeah. Oh, cool. You're watching all the, the YouTube videos. Well, glad to have you over here on the channel. See, Swain Ezreal. I'm going to keep Culling Strike, keep Glimpse Beyond, Mulligan, three mana cards. I want cheaper units. Cooling Strike just gets rid of both champions, and so I think that's a premium removal spell. I love Glimpse Beyond against Ezreal decks. Um. I pull the, strings. the problem with, like, I have the attack token here, so I'm going to go Elise, but the problem with Elise here is, yeah, it does, it gives them a very favorable thermogenic beam. And I don't have the mana for Glimpse Beyond. If I didn't have the attack token and that was turn two, I would have just waited. I would have just played turn three Elise. And I would have been just happy with a turn three Elise. That egg. Did it move? You have to get me out of here. <laughs> You think Swain Ezreal should be dubbed Swizzle? That should be the new name of Swain Ezreal.
So that's why... Ah, oh, they still dealt the one damage to me. Lame. I say that's why Glimpse Beyond is good of shutting down that damage and shutting get down the Ezreal target. Maybe I shouldn't be playing Frenzied Skitter because... I can't play a 5-drop and have Glimpse Beyond available. Hope this works when we get to draw two. Darn. Loyalty through combat. Nice, Wayne. Help us out. No Leviathan for me. That would be the best card to be playing. Prepare the cargo. Lucky. There's no excess when victory is at stake. They get Leviathan though. Not good for us, it looks like. Looks like we're going to be getting a 3 2. I must get out of here. We are at war. But we're going to try. Trying. Let's say they kill the 3 2. I don't think that there's any use of playing the Frenzied Skitter right now. Because it'll just be stunned. I think we want to play it and try to. Uh, yeah, that's just, this is just over. I need to, like, draw Leviathan. That would help. Okay. Well. Maybe we have a chance. Maybe.
Now we have to draw like Noxion Fervor. Uh, that hurts. Never mind. Never mind for the win. Artillery barrage! Search little lives. Dark in the sky! Noxion fervor. Oh my gosh. We are at war. Wait, we may really win? That's like twice that we needed Soft Tech Noxion Fervor and we did. Oh my gosh. That was those are the two perfect top decks. Leviathan into Noxion Fervor. The two perfect top decks. There we go. Four and one. Our Swain was like seven out of twelve, so it wasn't it wasn't gonna level up. Even with the three damage. All right, Spider Swain, Spider Swain. So there you go, another way to use some spiders. You know, like if you kind of have, if you don't have like a ton of cards um, on your account, but you know, you have a lot of the spider stuff. Like you started with like the spider, uh, the beginning spider deck. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for donating each win too. That's so, that's super nice. Thank you so much. Um. Okay. Thanks, Drew Smoke, with the donation deck there. A deep deck. Um, let's see. So, yeah, if you kind of have, like, a whole bunch of spider stuff, uh, this could be another way to take your to take your spider deck and, and you know, kind of add on. You know, you just got to get a Maokai, a couple of Swains, a couple of Viathans, um, some Neverglade Collectors, and you're good to go. A lot of this other stuff is, you know, commons or, you know, spider things so his yes, ravenous flock is also rare so it's probably a pretty easy deck to put together as far as decks are concerned um but anyway there we go that's our first deck of the day spider swain those of y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video